friends welcome to abhivyakti india's future classroom today we will see a question from circular seating arrangement which is taken from the oriental bank of commerce cleric commerce clerical examination 2009 here is the question that p q r s t and u are sitting along the circle facing the center and the three conditions are given so to place the positions of the six persons first we draw a circle since there are six persons we draw six arrows which are facing the center after that we decide the left hand side and the right hand side of the of each person since the persons are facing the center the clockwise direction will be a left hand side and the anti clockwise direction will be the right hand side so each left hand side will be the in the clockwise direction and right hand side will be in the anti clockwise direction so the left hand side will be like this and the right hand side will be in the anti clockwise direction once you have decided this we go for the conditions so the first condition is that p is immediate neighbor of q it may be to the left hand side or to the right hand side who is second to the right of r so from this we cannot decide the actual position of p q and r so presently we skip this condition and go for the second in search of any clue do we get so the second condition is that s is second to the left of t s is second to the left of t so if we take this position as s then t will be here because from t go two places to the left hand side so it will be first and second so here it will be s so from this second condition we can fix the position of s and t now the third condition is that u is immediate neighbor of t so u can be here or u can be here because both these are the immediate neighbors of t we don't know whether it is to the left hand side or to the right hand side so from this also we can fix cannot fix the position of u it may to the left hand side or it may to the right hand side so again presently we will skip this and we will go to the first condition p is immediate neighbor of q but q is second to the right of r q is second to the right of r so if you take this position as q then r will be what q is second to the right of r so q is second to the right of r so it will come here because 1 2 to the right hand side it will be q if you take like this but p is immediate neighbor of q so what is left for us this can be p or this can be p but in this case q is not immediate neighbor of p so this possibility is not there now what is left if you take this as q then your r will be here and since both the neighboring positions of t are occupied by r and q this cannot be also possible because one we will have to leave vacant for u because u is the immediate neighbor of t so this is also not possible so what is left 
these three places are left. Now we will take Q, R and P here. So if you take R here, then you will have to go two places to the right so that here it will be Q. This will be Q. So this is R, this is Q and the P will be here because it is said that uh, P is immediate neighbor of Q. Since Q is here, P will be here and now what is left? U is left here and now here the positions are fixed. So S will be here, U will be here, T will be here, R will be here, P will be here and Q will be here. Once you have fixed these positions, you can find answers to any questions which are asked in the examination. Generally, there are five questions asked in the examination and we will see that here. What are the questions? The first question is, which of the following is correct? S is between U and R. S is between U and R. That is not correct because it is between Q and U. The second option is Q is between P and T. Q is between P and T. That is not correct. Uh, then third option is P is between Q and R. P is between Q and R. So here this P is between Q and R and therefore the third one is correct option. Next fourth and fifth there is no need to check. So another question is which pair among the following has only one element sitting between its two elements in the given sitting arrangement. Here is the first option that is Q U. Q and U. In that there is one sitting that is S is sitting between Q and U. Then second is P R. P and R nobody is sitting. Then next is R T. Between R and T nobody is sitting. Then fourth one is S U. Between S and U nobody is sitting. Therefore the correct option will be Q U because between Q and U there is one person sitting and that is S. Now the another question is what is the position of U? What is the position of U? So the first option is second to the right of R. Second to the right of R. U is not second to the right of R because it is second to the left of R. Now between T and P. Second option is between U is between T and P. Here U is not between T and P. Between T and P R is there. So U is between T and S. So second option is also not correct. The third option is to the immediate left of S. To the immediate left of S. So if you go take U and you go to the left you will see that uh, U is not to the immediate left of S but it is to the right side of S. So third option is not correct. The sec fourth option is second to the right of Q. Second to the right of Q. 1, 2, so it is in the anti-clockwise direction. So U is second to the right of Q and therefore this option is correct. The fifth option is not correct. So the correct option will be that fourth one second to the right of Q. So this is Q and this is U 
and we are going in the anti clockwise direction so it means in the right hand side so u is second to the right of q now the here is the next question which of the following is wrong first option is p is to the immediate left of r r is here and it is said that p is to the immediate left of r it means we will go this way so p is to the immediate left of r that is wrong because we are going in a anti clockwise direction so p is to the immediate right of r and therefore the first option is wrong and so there is no need to go for the another options second third fourth and fifth now check for the another question which of the following pairs among the uh, pairs has its second element sitting to the immediate right of the first element the second element sitting to the immediate right of the first element so the second element is s here and it means we have to check s is sitting to the immediate right of u so is s is sitting to the immediate right of u we are going in a clockwise direction so s is sitting to the immediate left of u so the first option is not correct so go for the second option that is p s p and s that are not sitting immediate to each other there is q in between them so second option is also not correct now the third option is q and u q and u are also apart not immediate neighbors of each other so the third option is also not correct the fourth option is t and p so t and p are also not correct because so the correct answer is fifth one that is none of these friends you might have enjoyed this video if yes subscribe like it and share with your friends thank you very much friends you might have enjoyed this video then go to thumbs up button and click then go to share tab and share with your friends on facebook twitter google plus and many more and to get the updates right in your mailbox don't forget to subscribe thank you very much